Hey guys, have you ever been in that kind of situations of solving hard math tasks? Then you'd be like, God, can I just get a normal brain like anyone else and solve this damn trouble in here? Well, you need to change your concept about the normal brain state after watching this episode, of course. Hey guys, welcome to the third episode of the Ultra Talk podcast with me, Shev. Today we're going to talk about kind of a weird topic scientifically, which is living with half of a human brain. Well, before getting there, let's make some kind of points uh, clear for you. Remember last time we talked about computers and your brain basically is a computer to your body. It processes information that it receives from the senses and the body and send messages back to the body. But the brain can do much more than a machine can do. Humans think and experience emotions with their brain. And it's the root of human intelligence. One of the most dramatical surgical procedures still performed on a human patient is hamasferectomy. And don't try to pronounce it because it took me a whole week to do that, literally. And basically, you can just know it as the removal or disabling of half of the human brain. It is a rare uh, surgical procedure done for epilepsy that is not responding to medications. It is typically done in children and occasionally in adults. And these patients, the whole hemisphere is abnormal and responsible for causing seizures. When the right side of the brain is removed, the left side of the body is affected. Typically, this comes in a form of paralysis uh, of the arm and often weakness in the leg. For children who have had strokes uh, prior to the surgery, many come out as they went in. And the surgery takes about like six hours, approximately. The first surgery was pioneered by a neurosurgeon called Walter Dandy at Johnson Hopkins University in 1923 when a brain when a brain tumor patient and after having the most dramatic six hours operation of your life got forward of course you'd probably feel kind of tired a numbness in your skull and a muscle weakness on one side of your body, the side that is controlled by the part of the brain the doctor operated on, and more disturbing feelings, of course. Do you want to know someone who went through that surgery and become a normal person? There's this kind of uh, girl, her name is Judy, and you can check her story on the BBC YouTube channel. As a kid, her mom noticed that Judy was constantly falling to the left so um, always there were someone from her family that had to catch her that side of hers judy had kind of a rare condition called rasmussen encephalitis and the only treatment was to take half of the inflected side of it and she would define her life after that kind of traumatical surgery as well functioning life and guess what she is married now and she can walk too the procedures might be dramatical but life after it might be um as well functioning as if the procedures actually never happened of course with some courage and will to live a better life as remarkable as it is that there are individuals who can live with half a brain sometimes a very small brain lesion like a stroke or traumatic brain injury can have devastating effects thank you for watching don't forget to check the ultra talk podcast and the algerian black pearl social media platforms see you next week same time same date